What makes you special? Endurance. Hey everyone, I'm Sparkus. Welcome back to another episode here in Fallout 4. We're at the Bean Town Brewery since we got a job from Scribe Haley to recover some technology from here. So let's go inside. Alright, so okay, we have some electricity here. Are there people around here? Anyways, um, what I also want to do around here today is. I would like to check out Vault 81, so after we do this, I'm pretty sure we have some time to at least have a little sneak peek on what's going on in Vault 81. Why not? I mean, what I've noticed, I am in... We're now in episode 22 right now, and I'm in level 18, but we are just even scratching the surface of all the perks. I mean, there's still so much to go, so much to discover also. With the map, I mean, seriously, I... I know a lot of locations, but there are even more, and I haven't even really discovered that. I haven't been, even been there, there's so much to go. And I like that, seriously, that is so awesome. There's so much to do. And also, um, yeah, as I noticed in the last episode, I mean, this one was cleared before, and apparently now there are, those raiders are back, And but also all that stuff that was there. So, you know, the, rema uh, the map, restarts after a while. So that's interesting. Isn't that someone? Oh, that's a monkey. That's a monkey. No, oh, that's a... Yeah, that's a red roach. Blue, we're not alone here. Hey! They're here! Uh. Um... Okay. We do have raiders. We do have raiders. We have uh, just bottles. Okay, I'm not gonna take that all. As always, I'm I'm gonna take the middle one. Ah, it works. <laughs> Stupid thing. Good. I'm just gonna raid this place clean at some point later. What the hell? Who is shooting? Couldn't part with anything. No. I cannot. Metal bucket. Ooh, yeah, that's steel. That is pure steel. Can you use the terminal? What for? Oh, tour info. Um, tours happen every half hour and can last from five to six minutes. Anywhere. What? Really? Five to six minutes? Mm. That's a shitty tour, seriously. I mean should go longer and then you should get some free beer and um, some more. Oh, they were playing bowling ball around. They had a nice party around here, those raiders, did they now? Well, not anymore, guys. Not anymore. <laughs> because I'm here and I'm a party crasher. Oh, yeah. Me, Mario. <laughs> it just disintegrated him. Oh, yes. What? Just a second. That's one. What? Way? Way over there? What? Can't even see you. Oh, it's you. Power Tom. Oh, no. Tower Tom. There's the bastard. There he is. <laughs> yeah, I got the better weapon for, for range, mate. That was a stupid idea. Um, good. Got so much food. I mean, I also have... Um, where is it? Like 100? Yeah, 101 stim packs now. But I need to eat my food because this one alone is 8 pounds. So, yeah, I need to like eat down all the food that I have. And then also this purified water. This just weighs me down. But until then, oh, we're good. Look at that. 
more stim packs and ground. Oh my god, this is. Hmm. A nice, uh, interesting pipe rifle. Hmm. And this is a big place. Wow. How do you find anything in here? I don't know. Well, we can find the thing that we have to find because we have the quest marker on it. But... Good. Um, that was bad. It's still burning. Oh, wait. Can I shoot? No, he's right behind that. Damn it. Just wait a second, dude. I'm, I'm coming for it. Piper, you dumb bitch. Of course you dislike that because you... I didn't really have to do that. It's fine. Fine. God, Piper. I mean, if you're that stupid just running into my line of fire, of course I'm gonna kill you. And of course you don't like that. Some random crap, jet, which is good. Some good crap. Okay, let's open this one. Okay. Yeah, I almost have 100 bobby pins. I mean, why would I take this perk? This is just a waste of experience points. Oh, there's another one up here. Come on, mister. Oh. Just red roaches. Hey. Ow. Okay. I did not want to fall down, but now I did. We can walk back up. Alright. So, what do you got here? Some bot caps? No, no bot caps, really. One. Wow. That is a lot of bot caps. There you go. Coolant cap. Yeah, I need caps. I need hats. What I also have, uh, in between episodes, I helped some random settlers. And it was only three, actually. But I sent them to the Red Rocket, and now I have seven over there. And my guys over at the Tempany Bluff, they are dead. Don't know how, nothing happened, actually. Nothing that I know. Albany Farm is still alive. But yeah. <laughs> uh, in between episodes, I need to build up the Red Rocket truck stop. Well, I already have the supply line. Mm hmm. Data one. Data two. Data three. Oh, but data four is something. Full year capital spending is now estimated to increase over the previous year. Thanks to budget tightening and lowering of quality control in the product, including the increase in the water to worth what what ratio. Okay, brand management has also announced a marketing push of Bunker Hill Brew to lower income markets, which will be all be sent large percentage, blah, blah, blah. Well, of course, they were mm, greedy guys. I guess this place doesn't who just get a whole didn't care money. about the product, just min maximizing profits, as they all did in the old days. They were only bastard. Mm. Dandy boy apples in there. They were only bastard and asshole managers out there. I mean, there are a lot of out there also today, but yeah. In this dystopia, there were only that ki these kind of guys. So yeah, no wonder that world went to hell. Hmm. Isn't there one guy standing over there? No. No, 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 that's a chemistry station. That's a chemistry station. Yo, Tower Tom. What do you got? Hmm. Nothing really interesting. Nothing really interesting. Hmm. You got a safe here. And a tower. But, um... Damn it. 
terminal, I mean, not tower. It ta was tower, ta tower Tom's terminal. Sweet. Ooh, that's much better. Plus my courage. That's a lot better. Well, there's a classic. Hmm. It's not a bomb. Could be, could be everything. Damn it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, trouble. Crew's getting restless. Still got plenty of beer, but food's getting low. Send Sparta and her crew out to Batpiltiftl. See if they could find something, but folks are going to start deserting if you don't turn up something edible soon. Closest reserves are the federal stockpile, but it seems lily and red to reds. Okay. Parents never taught those bitches to share. Gonna have to make a move if we don't hear from Sparta soon. Fucked up bad. I've we tried to storm the stockpile, but Lily and Red and the crew were dug in like st like ticks. So do we find Lily? Wiped out, ha wiped out half our men. We could before we could build. Drake and Turk managed to grab a couple of hostages. Maybe we can trade them. Jackpot. Lily, it's fucking Lily. I'd recognize the bitch anywhere. Drake brought the hostages from the raid up to my room, and the second I saw her, I knew. We were saved. Now, Red'll have to deal with us, unless she prefers getting her sister back in pieces. So much food. Never seen so much food. When I told her we had her sister, Red thought I was full of shit. But one letter from little sis cleared things up real quick. Now the crates are pouring in and so are the recruits. At this rate, we'll be able to make a move on Corvega. Or DB Tech before the year's out. Hmm. Fuck. How the fuck did she get loose? I chained that bitch to the fucking floor. Was still half asleep when she came at me. I thought I was aiming at her leg. Now there's blood fucking everywhere. Got to clean this up. Do something with the body. This can't get out. Red's not gonna give a shit if she finds out her sister is dead. Problem solved. Rumor of a fat man caravan. Of a fat caravan train. Drifted in today while the whole crew went to hit it. Hmm. While everyone was out, I stashed Lily's body in one of our of the vats. Think she's even improved the flavor. Hmm. Corvega. Somebody took down Jared. Yeah, that was me. Not to say I hated that gym hungry bastard. But but then again, now there should be some other group in there. Um, let's play that one. Hell of a setup just to get people soft. Oh. Well, can't really play this one. Okay, fine. I don't want to read that. It's good. It's okay. Let's, um, continue. It's not what you want. We want this one here. The reflex capacitor. Oh, yeah. Um... Let's have a look around here. Well, there's a lot of stuff around here also. Yep, Piper. What are you doing? Did did she fall down again? I guess that dumb bitch just fall down again. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, I just take that. Thank you. Well, she's fine at least now well we got a lot of bottles over here but um i don't know do i need that much glass for my settlements i don't think so i really really doubt that that's the yeah entrance to the the other entrance to the commonwealth i don't want to go outside Please. Yes. Damn it. Huh. It's not really worth the experience points to walk in and out again. Okay. Just 
crap. What I've also noticed is that I have a lot of, is it an eight? Hmm, I don't think so. A lot of, where are they? Anyway, those uh, power cores, fusion cores, yes, for those power armors. I, get, I think I get 18 now. That's a lot. I should use some power armor from now, or now and then. <laughs> Guess I got plenty. Okay, let's have a look. Um, vault hack lab coat. A bunch of junk. Why not? It's uh, we can equip someone with the some of our mm, settlers with that. I mean, have them look nicely, like a real guy who is um, doing something and not like a useless idiot how they normally are. But you know, you know the drill. So we've been there, done that. And yeah, that's actually it. Okay guys, I'm gonna raid this place and I'm gonna meet you back at the police station where we're gonna talk to Scribe Haley. And man oh man, it is very good that I sweep these places clean since I just found a picket fence is right here where this Peeping Thomas or Tower Tom, Peeping Tom, it's the same. It's picket fences and now we're able to build picket fencing at settlement workshops. Nice, new fences. All right. Sure. All right. So that quest went a lot faster than I thought. So we definitely have time Scribe. to How's check out the vault. Find it yet? Found it. Here it is. Great. I'll get this documented and ready to send off. Here's a little something for the trouble. I'll always want more tech, so believe me, I'll never run short of missions. Once you're ready, come find me. Hmm, I'm not ready yet. What do I have to do? Retrieve a piece of tech from a given location, while eliminating any opposition. Sure. Not right now. Can't do it right now. That's alright. Take some time to re- uh -huh. When you're ready. Look who's back. Sure. I hope this means you finally got the guts to clear out another location. Yes! Good. You got new level up, but now I want to probably going to do that Minuteman job for the castle after I am fortifying that place over here or these places. I think I'm gonna go for the Minuteman um, castle in the next episode, and I'm also gonna go and use my power armor, either this one or the other one. I'm not sure yet, but for now, let's check out that. Wait, before I forget it, um, I need to level up either to science or to gun nut. I think I'm gonna go with science at the moment. Do I well, I do have more guns, normal guns, conventional guns, so let's go with gun nut. I can go, no, that's 21, so, okay. Yeah, I have the next level, then the next, this one is gun nut, then it's science, and then it's hacker level two. Also, this level 4 of Hacker is just useless. You get never get locked out. That's just 10 seconds of wait. That's nothing. That is nothing. Alright, so let's go over to the vault. Alright, so... Hello, Piper. Here we are. Um, where are you guys? That's a caravan. Okay, they're friendly. Wants a piece of what hey, I Cricket. Got. Make a move, and I'll end you, Wastelander. Shut up. Hi. Got a hankering for melting face? Then I'm your girl. Um. What kind of stuff do you have? What if the fuck is wrong with you? What are you doing? I sell, it. I sell slashers and clobberers uh. too for those maniacs that like it up close. Oh yeah, uh, I'm a maniac. Faster than the speed of sound. Nice. Um, let me just sure. show me what you got. Wow, you do look weird, girl. You do look weird. Got an assault rifle. I don't have that at all, but I also have almost no ammo for this one. A bayoneted missile launcher. It's like the most useless <laughs> mod for a missile launcher ever. A bayonet. Wow. Um. Those grenades are nice, but uh. 
Well, this also is nice, actually. Huh. I might even buy that one. Not sure. Then again, I'm I'm actually quite content with what I have. Hmm. No, paint spray. What the hell is that? Huh. Oh, that's a submachine gun. But for 2000 new. No. A super sledge. Hello there. Hello there, Mr. Super Sledge. Laser pistol. Automatic. Eh. Hmm. Compared to my, what is it? Swatter. It's a lot better. It's a lot better. But it weighs a lot more also. Ah. Ah, screw it. I'm not gonna buy it. Thanks for the offer, girl. But I kinda pass on the offer. in this job is assume everyone's out to kill you. Uh, yeah, and you're right. I'm out to kill you too, but um, I'm just gonna like, not do it right now because I have to kill some stuff over here. All right, let's go inside the Vault 81. Okay. Well, this one seems. Vault 81. Have I got some questions for the folks down here? Why? Seen better days, um, that's weird. Okay. Um, vault door controls. Let's just open that up. Yep. I can do that. Um, press the red button. Press the red button. Yeah. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy. Oh. Awesome! There are people in, the, in inside here. Great! This is a working vault. Wow! Awesome. Vault eighty-one. You're still up and running. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good observation there, genius. Now about that pit boy. Well, um, I know what he's asking. Let's just be honest. Why not? I got it in Vault one eleven. Vault one eleven. Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? Kill you all? <laughs> Third degree m murder? Um, looking to trade. Just looking to do a little trading. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Hello. Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Good. Let me speak to them. Hello. Hello, Miss Overseer. How are you we doing today? Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. Okay. Uh, help a vault well. Ooh. Hmm. Let's just try it. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Before you arrived, he did say he was from Vault 111. <laughs> and he's in possession of a working pit boy. Yes. Is that Miss. So? That is so. So, what are you thinking? I'm going to allow it. Good. Edwards, open the door and make the announcement. Officer Edwards and I will meet you at the entrance. See you in a bit. Nice. Let's talk to off overseer McNamara. It's a working vault. That's that's something new. Thank you for that. Well, it's not a red carpet, but been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? <laughs> Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and, and I both know we can't keep going on like this. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, it's bouncing around. Okay, Sorry, McNamara. Governor. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. We've never encountered a fellow vault dweller. Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? Well, not really. It never really were, was. It's, uh... I thought they were kind of done for. It's a grave now. 
more like a graveyard now. Almost no survivors. Christ, I'm sorry. What happened there? Time. Cryo malfunction. Yeah, pretty much. They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods, but something malfunctioned. Oh my god. But conveniently, not his part and not the part of his wife. All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Oops. Mm. Why the isolation? No, I, I do understand the isolation, because it's one of the most secure places in the wasteland. Hmm. This vault is impressive. Yeah, I like it. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. I mean, this is so far the only vault we have. Of course, we had 101, but that kind of ended also in uh, Fallout 3. But the rest of the vaults in Fallout 3 were all destroyed. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Hmm. Well, it is dangerous out here, but interaction, interaction is good. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard, but it's still got a long ways to go. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about his friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you he need needs a woman, else, I'll be in my office. <laughs> All right. I mean, she's just a reporter. She is like a, like a kid in a toy store at the moment. So, you know, she will be like very excited to hear about what's going on around here. Watch out nice. for the maintenance. It never hey, fatty. Here. <clears throat> huh? You want a good meal? See Maria at the cafeteria. Sure do, sir. Um. Oh, a lot of stuff around here, Miss. Another outsider. Miranda. What they let you in for? Uh, what's the attitude, bitch? What's with the attitude? I don't trust outsiders. We didn't need your help before, we don't need it now. The Overseer never should have opened up the vault to your kind. Well, you don't need it. But, um... It doesn't hurt. But anyways, I'm a fellow vault dweller. fellow vault dweller. I don't care where you're from. It's not here. Racist? That's racist. Hi. Leave me alone. Hey! I work to do. Don't you have someone else you can bother? Can I not trade with you? If you're looking for friendly conversation, you won't find it here. I got nothing to say to you. Well, I guess I have to turn them to be friendly. But all right, we have another location. That's nice. Uh, Piper just if you're looking to do some trading, made uh, herself comfortable. Has just about anything you could need. Yeah, okay. sure. Neil. So, we got a new visitor Diamond. Today. Don't say anything. Man, I'd love to be out there. Hmm. It's quite dangerous. Why? But why aren't you not going? If you want to leave, why don't you just go? Wish it was that easy. It's scary leaving the vault. And the Commonwealth? It's all so unpredictable. That's true. It is dangerous. It's pretty dangerous. You wouldn't last a day. <laughs> yeah, that's the fear. At least with the way the Overseer has us working, 81 will still be around for a while. Hmm. So why the long hours? Why the long hours? We're just making sure this roof over our heads doesn't cave in on us. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working round the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you, and I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. They sure did know what they were doing around here. The question is, what Terminal only. What experiments were they doing around here? Miranda likes to tell me that I'm just taking anyone for granted, but I can't help but feel trapped here sometimes. Someday, I'll make it out there. Okay, um, Pardon me, officer. Officer? Dr. Forsyth and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. Okay, so we do have also some... Mm, traders around here. Stop by and see Horatio while you're here. I can't imagine you come across many barbers in the Commonwealth. Horatio Kane. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. No signs of radiation. Mm-hmm. 
Almost nothing. I know. Yes. I take care of my body. My body is my temple. Hey, Did that boy ever act up on you? Mine's been glitchy lately. Where are you going? Hmm. No, mine is fine. Damn it. A lot of stuff that I would love to steal around here. Stay out hey. Of trouble. Excuse me, officer. Huh. So you're the reason the patrols are double. Yes, hey, I am. Um. No, that's a different. Okay. okay. Yes, I am. Watch yourself. Well, watch yourself too. <laughs> um, I don't want to hear oh, any yeah. negative reports about you, outsider. Oh, you will. Trust me. <laughs> you will. Cigarettes. You get. How do you maintain undamaged cigarettes for two hundred years? I mean, those things would have been smoked like so long. Why would you have that in the first place? I mean, they just. They're just um, elevator. A waste of space, mostly. If I mean, I sure get it why people are smoking, but um, it doesn't make sense in the case if you want to survive post-nuclear apocalypse. So we're uh, yeah, we're going down. But it's disappointing that there is no light, no um, elevator music around here. That's too bad. What are you doing? Oh, look at that. Hey, boy. Hey, mister. Are you really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. But, <laughs> go wake it. Let's give him a sarcastic Me? answer. No, I'm from the moon. Still got cheese in my shoes. I guess that was a dumb question. But, I bet it's your first time here. I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Five caps? Are you crazy? I'm not gonna pay for sure, that. Sure, but I'm not paying you. Okay, okay. All right. We'll I am. <laughs> I just saved five caps. Wow, I'm, I'm really good at this. <laughs> well, I did it mostly for the experience points, so don't judge me. So this what do you got here? The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. All right, so they are the vendors around here. So what are they fighting about? What do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. That bastard. Mrs. Combs doesn't know, but he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next up, the old. <laughs> well, this guy knows how to handle his women. Strange things. Ooh, and uh huh. I did. Well, they, they did let me keep my weapons. Really? Okay. Sure, why not? Hey there. Nice pit boy. Thank you. Starts acting up on you. See Alexis. She'll fix it right. The overseer's up. office is up there. Alexis. She's busy up hmm. there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Mm, she's probably corrupt, but um, she's enforcing rules. Does she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules, but she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta okay. go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The Somersets are nice though. You'll like them. The Somersets. Hmm. I really want to see the Somerset. Is it like, um... Digital or what? Hello, Austin. Hello, Maria. Showing our guest from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. Oh, so Mrs. they call it Somerset. So it's the yes. Somersets. Okay. Um, bad food. I bet the food here is terrible. <laughs> no, -uh. it's pretty good, especially her pie. How would you know? I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Horatio you like Kane. Mine? I like mine. I hate combing it though. I hate your hair. It makes me comb it. Looks stupid. It really looks stupid. What are you doing, Piper? She's just randomly sitting everywhere. <sighs> I wanted to have that dog picture. Do I Austin, oh I do have that already, I think. Hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. 
Grand hardly comes here at all. Who are you? She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. Perfect. Hmm. New facial tattoos. Why not? Um, do my hair? Do you do my hair? Sure. He can turn your hair into anything. I wanted him to make mine look like Skull, but Grand wouldn't let him. Next that stop bitch. Let's go, Let's go to Grand. that bitch. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Hmm. I'm sure there's a backstory to that one. That will result in a quest, I would say. Solving the mystery of the death of little... Whatever his name is. Parents. Hi, Yo. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm yep. not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Graham. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Pensky. She acts all grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. Okay. So you get nothing from the outside? You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Fran grows it all here. She's really smart. Hmm. Next stop, Miss Kate. Yeah. Even your grandmother know, knows yeah. that she's yeah. a stupid idiot. Go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. Uh, I did have to go to school. It sucked. As always, but compared to working, that's the best time of your life. You just don't know it. That's the problem. If you would know it, that would be a lot better. Okay. This is the so. school. Miss Katie runs it. It's Hello, Miss Katie. Time, but Grant says I have to go anyway. Your Grant is a smart woman, Austin. Can I get the goat? Uh, do the goat test around here? Um, it is a waste of time, but are there a lot of kids around here? There are a lot of kids in the vault. Not that many. The overseer says that we're using population control. Whatever that is. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go down. It is that not everyone just can go around and fuck everyone around here and just have babies. But I don't go there unless I have to. Um, that's the wrong way. Boy, what are you doing? Go. Okay, good. So, whoa, that's a big place. We have a, stu a lot of stuff to discover around here. We have to talk to a lot of people, I guess. That's the medical bay there. The medical bay. Bay bay. Bay medical. Hello there, mister. Hey. Dr. Forsyth is asking to see you when you have a Okay, I'm gonna go to her later. This is or to him. Clinic. If you get hurt or sick, come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. So, do they still use leeches? <laughs> damn quacks. I bet they still use leeches. I've never seen a leech, but Miss Katie told us about them. Now we go see Erin. She's gonna be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. So, who's Erin? Another girl? Is it your future mating partner? <laughs> that, has been, that has been chosen for you to mate even because you don't have really much of a choice. You know, it's really, it's really funny that if you don't have much of a choice, love still finds a way. That's um, really interesting. You know? <laughs> you know, it's just like in The Walking Dead and Glenn. He's just... That's the best way to date people way out of your league. Erin, look who I found. A stranger from the Commonwealth. Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. Um, not this again. <laughs> You're Austin's best friend? We've been friends forever. There aren't a lot of other kids in the vault. Thanks for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. Excuse me, mister. Have what? you seen my cat? Ash is gone? Did you forget places like this even exist? Um. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna find your cat for money. How much would you pay to get him back? I'm not giving you anything! <laughs> but I You're just your a here. <laughs> greedy jerk! I am. Oh, come on, girl. You don't want to talk to me now. Hey, sweetie. Have you changed your mind? Would you look for ashes? Um, she's probably dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna not, not be that mean. I've been mean enough. Where might he be? Where do you think he may have gone? Not far. 
You'd be terrified. I'm sure if there's anywhere nearby to hide. Sure, I'll find him. I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Sure, I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna find him. Okay. Um, Piper has made herself comfortable. All right, so you have a lot of junk around here. Well, why would you have all that crap in your room? That's so weird. And why would would she have such a big room? Or is it also the room of his of her parents? Ah oh, well. Anyways, guys, uh, this is the end of this episode. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, press the like button down below. If you didn't, press the dick li dislike button. The dick like button, also, yeah. Um, <laughs> tell me in the comments down below what you liked or didn't like about this episode or anything else I'd like to hear about it. Make sure to subscribe to get the more of Fallout 4 and I hope to see you in the next episode. See you then. Bye.